Hello everybody and welcome back to another last episode. This is season 3, episode 14, Expose. I like the glitter in her body. I love that. That's very 2000. <laughs> What kind of movie is this? Pretty and smart. What a shame. Razzle dazzle! Ah! Oh, Bulletproof breast. <laughs> Look, I'm just a guest star. We all know what happens to guest stars. I love you too. Wait, what? No, stop it. So the extras have a backstory now. Well, now we're going best. Oh my God, she can't die. What are you doing? Get I mean, not yet, dude. Nikki's dead. We're barely starting to see him, her past. Who the Nikki? Who the Nikki? Right? <laughs> Same. I'm right there with you, Sawyer. Yes, sir. Of course. Oh, oh my God. Of you course. I'd like you to meet Nikki. The food is amazing. Howie, you shouldn't have. Oh, that's <laughs> poor man. I realize, of course, it's not a ring. Not yet. But uh, when my wife... <sighs> Paolo? What the fuck? Paolo! <sighs> He's not surprised. Surprised. What a bitch. They killed him. I can't. Okay, so every single person who is in the island now, who was on the plane, did something bad. Paolo lies. Paolo That's what lies. Paolo lies, not power lines. Paolo lies. Who the hell's Paolo? Paolo's her husband or, or boyfriend. Let's just go. Thanks anyway. I love having Boone in flashbacks. Coming, Shannon. But I hate Shannon. Guys, maybe we could actually get on the plane. He totally killed you. <laughs> Not Paolo. Do we survive? Look at me. Am I okay? Am I okay? Hey, do you have a pen? Do you have a pen? Hey, does anybody have a pen? <laughs> that's crazy though. You're not gonna plane crash and someone just runs to you. <laughs> Do you have a pen? Paolo, where is it? Who cares? We just crashed. Where is the bag? Come on, you didn't even know where it was. What do you know about tracking? He died too. They were halfway through sex. You messed up the crime scene. Crime scene? <laughs> right? The forensic hatch, I don't know. It's the Mm. But it's, it wasn't. It wasn't. Was it? There's no such thing as monster. I lost mine too. Oh my god. Need some other stuff Pam. though. So if you need anything, Pam. Oh my god, Jack looks Six so days. much younger. And it, this is just We're season three. I'll take in a group of fresh water like, with a body. If you don't want to come, then multiple bodies not actually lives together. He even sounds younger. Come on. We're gonna die alone. Live together, die alone. That's the name of an episode, right? I'm with part you. one and part two. It's the monsters we've got here, I've discovered. What are you doing, girl? I'm gonna be the next Charles Darwin. Wouldn't be surprised. You slept with Zuckerman. <gasps> girl. I did that for us. So that's how it is now. They found the plane before Boone and, so and Log. Go up there. Maybe there's a radio or something. Are you insane? They found everything before everybody else. Fucking extras, they didn't say anything. It's like Baywatch, only better. It's about Autumn and Crystal, two strippers that solve crimes with the help of their suave, smooth-talking club owner, Mr. Lashad. How'd I miss that one? Check it out. Who the cast list, Nikki Fernandez. If you didn't need me to find that bag, would we still be together? That bag is worth eight million dollars. Has he always had that accent? Just dive in, Paolo. Cause it's—I think it's the first time I, I hear it. Is that it? 
Was it there? Well? Nothing. There's nothing down there? Oh my god! Just dead bodies. Then who dragged me into the jungle? <laughs> the others came into our camp. They grabbed me, put a bag over my head. And if I hadn't gone away, they would have killed me. Please, John. You should put the shovel away and save yourself some trouble. Why is that? Because it's going to get washed away. Buried on mm -hmm. this island. And then island. The beach is eroding. Make sure you pick a spot that won't wash away. You know what? That happened to me. I'm going to have to tell you the story because, you know, all I do is talk in my videos, apparently. <laughs> when I was little, um, me, my cousin, and another friend that we used to call cousin because we were really close together, um, we loved Britney Spears so much. I still love Britney, honestly. Um, so when the movie Crossroads came out, we watched it. I don't really remember very well, but they bury a box with a lot of meaningful things to them. And we used to go to the beach a lot, a lot when I was young. That beach, I love that beach. It was so beautiful. We decided to bury the box there. I buried as it wasn't a scarf, it was like a, like a, it wasn't a handkerchief either. A thing, a, a piece of cloth that you wrapped around your head or something. I really love that, okay? I used to love doing that when I was a kid. My friend that I called um, cousin, she buried a, like a gold pin or something. And I was gonna also bury a, a cassette where we recorded a lot of things when back in the day, and my grandpa sung a song in this cassette and shit, but I couldn't find it. I, I put it in my bag, I had a bag, a Pikachu bag, and I used to sleep with it all the time. It was filled with socks, because, you know, to make it puffy. And I, I hid the cassette there, and I took it, obviously took it with me. I couldn't travel or go anywhere without my Pikachu bag. And I couldn't find the cassette. I, 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 I couldn't find it, it wasn't there, so I couldn't bury it. We tried to bury this thing up where the cars um, would park, but the soil, is that how you call it? The soil was too hard and we couldn't. So we we're like, okay, let's just bury it in the sand. It was pretty away from the, from the water, but we didn't know it was, it was gonna get washed away or something. So the next year we went back and we tried you know, digging to find our box and we couldn't find it, it wasn't there anymore. So another uh, friend that came with us, uh, my mom's friend or something, he was like, what are you guys doing? And we were like, okay, we buried something last year, I wanna, you know, take it out to see it. And he laughed at our face and he was like, you can't bury anything on the beach, you know that. And we're like, why? Because it's gonna get washed away with the with the sea and shit. You can't don't no matter how deep you bury it, it's just not gonna stay there. So we were like, damn, and I was pretty happy that I couldn't find my cassette. It was there after we buried this, after we got home and everything. I found the cassette because the bag on the inside it was like ripped, so it got through the I guess uh, fabric or something, and I found it, and I'm hella glad. I couldn't bury it because I would have lost the most precious thing I have and actually when I came back to Venezuela, if you guys didn't know, I came back to Venezuela, was living in the States, I came back because my grandpa was dying and I wanted to spend some time with him, a month exactly, um, and I found this cassette and I started to listen to it, to my grandpa sing and talk and shit, we were talking and singing, it was, it was such a fun cassette and I haven't been able to listen to it since that day because, you know, my grandpa passed away a month after I came back, so I, I can't, I can't, I, I have it, and I treasure it a lot, but... So yeah, that's how I learned that things get washed away when you bury them on a beach. You would think that Paulo, since he's Brazilian, meaning South American, would know that things get washed away if you bury them on the beach, right? Well, I don't think Brazil have beaches. Does it? Of course it does, right? Of course. Of course. I'm sorry. I'm bad at my 
geography. At least I know Brazil is like right next to Venezuela. Shepard? Yes. He knew, he saw them. He's cute. Michael, of course. He knew! Are we done here? What if they close it from the outside and then he couldn't get out? Oh, that's why. What do you mean? Bandana! Maybe that's the word I was looking for you know, for the cloth. Like powers? Right? Doesn't walk like that. Right before she died. But Sawyer was playing ping pong. Oh, oh. Dog. Wilson, what's his name? Willie? Vincent! Vincent, right? Son? <gasps> He's gonna tell her. Her face, so I though. I could get even by helping him steal the guns. We Water. You're not serious. That's why. What? You always whine about not being included? Now's your chance. So that's why he went to the bathroom. Just to check on the thing. What does she hide? Ew, that wasn't his balls. Hollow's balls. Okay. I love his nose. Look at that nose. Oh my god. Thanks for nothing. And who the hell are you? <laughs> At least close their eyes. Because then we'd have to dig another grave. <laughs> Seriously, though. See, and I thought I was gonna get out of this without a lady. Go, girl. He's gonna bury the diamonds with him? Leave him in the bag, though. What the hell was that? <gasps> Are you out of your mind? Just like one bite from the spider will paralyze you. Paralyze? Uh, about eight hours. <gasps> They're alive! It'll, you. It'll just... All sorts of nasty things to you. They it's are alive! I... Not for much longer, though. I'm guessing that you... That's the sound of the monster. So maybe he is alive, but she isn't. Oh. Ow. Damn it. They are alive. Okay. Oh, paralyzed. They're breathing though, right? Can they like see the movement or something? That's they killed them. They killed them because they can't breathe fucking sand. That's so fucked up. Holy shit, what an episode. That was that was a fucking great episode. Damn. They're totally dead, right? Because if they come back, it's it's not gonna be realistic, not like... I am Peter Pan, I'll never be a man If you never wanna grow, take my hand I'll take you to Neverland